Hello everyone, welcome to another fan to play fantasy match review. This is for the game between Cape Town and Johannesburg, and it's going to be the third game played at Cape Town. We have Nikhil Bai with us today to carry you through another preview and give you some insights on what he feels about the pitch as well as the base team for this one. Yes, few very important things to keep in mind. I'm like you said, you may be kaha tha bowlers ke overs aage piche honge kyunki teams waise hi khel rahi hain. So it's not a fault of the team. Uh, again, they are going to design in a way that they always have seven eight bowling options. So, a India's captain also very liked, who was in Chennai to lead. That as per the surface, as per the situation, I should be able to use whoever I want. But what makes what that makes it very difficult is to predict for us who will score. So, that day, who will score? This we cannot say before. So, you can invest in your contest and choose your contest. क्योंकि वो रिस्क रहेगा जैसे पिटोरियस ने पहले गेम में चार ओवर डाले थे होल्डर बोल टू बट इस गेम में नाउ देव गॉट टॉपली दे गॉट हार्डेस्ट विलियम एंड स्टिल दे हैड सुब्रैन हु केम इन एंड टुक टू विकेट्स तो देयर इज नो गारंटी तो वो मैचअप के बेस पे ही होगा तो प्लीज अपने सिलेक्शंस ऑफ पिच जैसे भी हैं अगेन ये तो मैं डरबन की बात कर रहा हूं तो सभी के लिए वैसा होगा तो प्लीज बी केयरफुल ऑफ दैट Yes, absolutely. So first up, let's look at the venue conditions for this one. So two games have happened at Cape Town till now, and in both games, we've seen that at the start, it's not been easy for batting. Both team in both the innings, early wickets were lost. In the first innings of both games, rather early wickets were lost. And third game on, you can never say. Or how it's going to go because we also saw a strong finish in the first game's first innings, but in the second game that also did not come with the wickets falling even towards the back end. So Nikhil, why? What do you feel like in and now? And we thought that the pre-show would be a help to us, but they have stopped showing even the pitch in the pre-show. So how how do you analyze the, and balance this for your fantasy team? Yes, yeah, so see, as just we have talked about, it will be a little risk in this because. अगले गेम ही इट इज सपोजेटली बेटर वेन्यू टू बैट पर हेल्प आ रही है स्पिन को और पेसर्स तो हमने बोला ही था कि नए बॉल से विकेट मिलेंगी तो दैट इज समथिंग व्हाट वी कैन मे बी देन डू इज सेग्रीगेट पीपल इनटू पॉसिबल रोल्स एंड देन जस्ट पिक देम इन योर टीम वन एंड देन टीम टू में किसी और को पिक करो क्योंकि दैट इज द ओनली वे आउट टू बैलेंस क्योंकि नहीं तो आप इतने सारे बॉलिंग ऑप्शन है आप कितनों को अपने टीम में ले सकते हो सो दैट इज समथिंग दैट वी कैन डू मच अबाउट Yes, absolutely. So take care of that and try to assume that the conditions will be balanced because skewing your team either towards pace or spin can be a risky ploy, especially unless yeah. you don't have that extra information. So let's look at the base team now. So first up in the keeping section, we've gone with Donovan Ferreira. As far as Rickleton is concerned, in a chase, he's probably a better pick. While batting first, we have seen it's been slightly difficult to pick, and there'll be a good chance that he'll be tackled with a little bit of off spin. So, hence, we have not picked him for now. In the batting, we have gone with Bruce Faf and Riza Hendricks. Riza Hendricks has been bowling a bit too, but no form with the bat for him yet. While both the other two batters had a good first game, while nothing to show for in the second. Nikhil, by any temptations towards going with Rassi or Yaneman because both of them are top quality choices, but again the form and the matchups not helping either. Exactly, एक दम सही कहा आपने और दोनों का intent जब देखो तो it's to me the way uh, JSK batted look very very weird. Uh, the world knew fortune के record क्या है अगेन Yaneman मला, but yet you think that they'll do better and you. यू कैन इवन एक्सक्यूज के चलो मलान आउट हो गए तो सेम ओवर में रिजा को भी फिर लेने का क्या सेंस बनता है क्योंकि जब आपने देखा है पिछले गेम में भी आपको केशव महाराज ने वैसे ही ट्रबल करा है बोलिंग द सेम लाइन्स तो दैट जस्ट फेल्ट बिट वेरी वियर बट अगेन क्रिकेट है होपफुली दे कम बैक इन टाइम क्योंकि दीज आर क्वालिटी गाइज ऐसा नहीं है कि दे कान स्कोर दे शुड एंड दे विल स्कोर वेरी सुन बट होपफुली थोड़ा रीजन मुझे लगता है जरूरी है दोनों के लिए क्योंकि एम आई की भी बैटिंग आपने देखी सेकंड गेम में इट डिड नॉट लुक सॉलिड अंटिल रोल ऑफ सन एंड जॉर्ज लिंडे गॉट देम समथिंग टू बोल एट तो वो आपको शुरुआत में वैसा रिस्क लेके आगे चलना पड़ेगा Yes, one thing that I want to ask you, Nikhil Bhai, is that we are seeing that a lot of bowling options are present. So in that case, does it actually make it easier for you to pick the batters and hope that 
two or two out of four click and give you a big score, or do you still feel like the bowling will be the more reliable choice to go towards? So, is the what I'm trying to do is that now, just see, look, the fortune wala pick hai. If uh, example, pichle game ka lein to, to unko maine kuch teams mein rakha tha, aur un teams mein unka maine matchup nahi rakha tha. Because hmm. I expected him to take down Malan and Riza or Faf. अब वहां पे रिजा को रखने का कारण ये था कि रिजा बोलिंग भी किए थे पिछले गेम में तो अभी हमें तो नहीं पता था कि वो 80 ही मारेंगे तो इतनी बोलिंग यूज नहीं होगी सो दैट इज हाउ आई ट्राई एंड एलिमिनेट पॉसिबल ऑप्शंस एंड उसके बाद जो भी बचता है जो ज्यादा दोनों डिपार्टमेंट में देगा उन्हें तो आप बिल्कुल अपने टीम में पिक कर दे तो आई ट्राई एंड साइड विद स्पेशलिस्ट बोलर्स और अगर उनका स्पेसिफिक मैचअप है तो उनको या तो यू टेक देम और दैट पर्सन अदरवाइज यू हैव द ऑलराउंडर्स हु कैन कंट्रीब्यूट फ्रॉम बोथ साइड्स सो दैट Yes, absolutely. That should be the case. In the all-rounders, we have gone with Romario Shepard, who's keep in mind bold only an overreach in both games. Yeah. Sam Curran and George Linda, who looked good finally with the bat in the last one. And in the bowling, we have gone with Jofra, who we are assuming will play. We heard at places yeah. that he'll play only two games, but then he's played both games back to back, so we are not too sure on that. If Rabada plays, then take him in his place. If Archer is not playing, Alzari, Oli Stone, and Rashid Khan to round it up. Now, one good thing when you're picking from MI Cape Town is that because they have their the amount of bowling options that they have is fewer in comparison to other teams. So in that case, when you're when you're looking at two teams that you're playing against, and if one team has fewer bowling options, then it's easier for you to back those guys yes. because you know that they have lesser options. So even if they have a bad over or two, they yet have to bank on them to bowl the overs it's not not the ideal approach to pick your 11 but uh, that is the best use case that you have at the moment with the amount of options that teams are going out with bilkul to dekhe picks tumhare waise hi hain the guys who we feel are more likely to create an impact now there are kafi options jo jays ke ne bhi dono hi games mein try kare hain but they haven't looked part of the of like Threatening nahi lage utne. So again, aisa nahi hai ki Siboto, Lizard Williams, they won't work when they are bowling first. They will. But you have to be very sure of the condition then. See ki bhai kitne option hai kahaan pe use ho rahe. Or fir, then you can al- always balance out your team and make multiple combinations. So iske liye humne abhi tak Shepard sir ko liya hai. Kyunki usne 80 run ke chase mein bhi he found a way to take a wicket. So that is the clutch into stores. And Joseph, because he is the best bowler from that side. So you could easily swap it out with a vice captain from a Cape Town side. But because we're just trying to keep it balanced to begin with, then the grinding may option I that you try to So the risk level medium is more option you have to do not try to do it. So you can play SL but just be very sure of your visualization because teams are starting to show that they don't, they are not going to stick to one thing. So please be very sure of who you are making as your captain, vice captain. Even a four overs bank like Pretorius was not used at all. So I have nothing to say. Yes, so just going to come to that. It does make it dangerous for you because even if you feel like after one game, someone's going to be a bank for you in the next game, they just don't turn up at all. Maybe after three or four games, you find a trend where they're alternating between bowlers, resting guys because they have so many options. But yes, all that is maybe for the round four or round five. For now, let's look at the Grand League options. So, Grand League options for this one, Nikhil Bhai, tell us who are the ones you're going to bank on. Look, one of the logic is that George Linde should be able to open the eye. Because as the like Super Kings are playing, left arm spin, it seems that they are playing the eye. So, he is a very tempting option for you to try out. Uh, so, that is the pick done very easily from uh, MI Captain. He has 50,000 other bowlers. Hai. So, who can say that Linde will give him one or two and he won't get bowling. So, please be sure of that. And uh, from JSK, I, I generally felt Fungi so should be used better. Uh, he hasn't been used yet, use, but I feel he has a, has a decent option to try out. And I don't think that he can't bowl to Rickleton and Travis up top. He should be. In both games, his entry point is quite late. I think he can put it in the beginning. So, again, it's a little condition dependent. Pick hai. पर ट्राई कर सकते हैं फंगी सर को क्योंकि अगेन 80 ओवर की चेज में भी एक विकेट ले लिया था उन्होंने तो आई फील अगर यूज उनको एंड ही इज समबडी हु इज डन इट फॉर इनफ टाइम तो आई फील फॉर अ चेंज मैं दो लोकल प्लेयर्स के साथ गया हूं 
so yeah that's also good <laughs> yes that's a good change and uh, i am personally a bowler and all rounder banker but the way the all rounders <laughs> and bowlers have betrayed me by not bowling and batting in the last few games i'm opting for two batters in this one rasi vander dustin and yaneman malan both are uh, good choices and don't be surprised if at least for the next few games where teams there are more bowling options i'll opt for more batters to come in and do the job hopefully one of them give you a big score and are able to neutralize all the bowlers in one shot <laughs> possible very very possible that but jaisa time hai wohi karna padega aur kya karenge yes not like it's not like it's the best choice logically because batting first it has not looked easy at all especially up top yeah. so be careful with the choices but i think if malan is chasing and rasi is in the middle order yes. might come off let's see and we hope all of you have a good preview too we've also already shared the preview for the melbourne derby ensure that you tune into that one there's a jersey giveaway there too so go answer that question and have a good set of games all the good luck to all of you cheers guys <laughs>